At 9.30 in the morning local time last Friday, thousands of people witnessed an object streaking across the sky. Shortly, it burst into a fireball and crashed into a lake nearby. Its blast forced blue windows and doors out and damaged buildings. Over a thousand people were injured. It was a very large meteorite. It entered into the atmosphere at the speed of 20 kilometers per second and then it exploded up in the air. It's not the first time something like this happens over Russia. There was the Tungus meteor in 1908. The damage cost is estimated at over $33 million. Work is underway now to repair buildings, schools and hospitals. Money has already been allocated to replace windows in people's homes in a freezing cold winter. To see things like this coming, we need a global network of telescopes and robots which would constantly monitor the skies. It would only take a few years to create it. Bigger telescopes with the range to notice such things would cost around $3 million each. Scientists say that Russia should install observation points in different parts of the world to forecast such events in the future. 10 to 20 of them should be installed in Russia itself. Investment must be made in new discovery and early warning systems. It's impossible to forecast such incidents in advance. It's the same as a typhoon hurricane or a terror attack. We cannot control it and that's why it leaves people scared. Lack of warning played a positive role in this case, because there was no panic. Scientists and emergency services are now searching for the meteor, which fell to the bottom of a 10-meter deep lake, Chebakul. The meteor is expected to be named after the lake. The meteor incident in central Russia stirred a lot of discussions about what could have been done to prevent it. Indeed, if it crashed into Chelyabinsk nuclear plant, it would have been a catastrophe for the whole Europe. But as scientists agree, at the moment it's almost impossible to prepare for natural phenomena like this. Julia Lyubova, Press TV, Moscow.